In this video, we'll demonstrate the usage of the polar plot module. The first thing we need to do is load the sample dipole.dat file from the advanced data directory. Now, we recall the linear gain, which is currently stored in reg4, as the description denotes. Now we'll click the Polar and Amplitude Plot button. In the Polar Plot module, the first thing we want to do is recall Reg4 to be sure we have the linear gain as our active registry data. Now we click the Max Gain button to jump to the maximum gain amount, which is 4.94 dB at 2.16 GHz, with the azimuth at 360 degrees and the elevation at 50 degrees. You can see these figures noted in the sliders. By moving the elevation slider, we generate different azimuth contours. By moving the azimuth slider, we generate different elevation contours. The elevation contours range from negative 90 to plus 90 degrees feet. If we wish to see the full contours, we check the full elevation cuts option. Now, when we slide the azimuth slider, we generate full elevation contours. This is a method which will enable the back of the antenna to be seen. We will now demonstrate use of the Keep button. The Keep button can be used for contour comparison. While we're set on the maximum gain, we're going to invoke the Keep button. Now when we slide the frequency slider, we can compare contour shapes. Each contour is normalized to the unity circle. When we release the keep button and refresh the display, and then go back to the max signal, we can then demonstrate the normalized keep. The normalized button will normalize all subsequent contours to the max gain in this case. When we invoke keep once again and change the frequency, it becomes apparent that not only is the shape plotting, but the relative differences are also plotted. What is important with the keep button is to realize that different sizes and shapes can be compared. If the size and shape is not an issue, we can change pens and use the associated hold buttons. When I go back to the max, I can compare the max at an elevation of 50 degrees and the max at an elevation of 0 degrees. To do this, I'm going to hold and normalize to this display and I'm going to change the pen to pen 2, which is the red pen. Since we don't want to collect the intermediate elevation data, we click Don't Plot. Now when I move the slider to 0 degrees, no contours are plotted. Once I reach 0 degrees, I release the Don't Plot button and the new contour is plotted with the red pen. Now if we move one marker to 180 degrees on the red display, and the second marker to 180 degrees on the blue display, the difference between the two markers is 1.7 dB. The markers can also be changed to different displays by clicking on the marker line. And this concludes our video tutorial on basic polar plotting usage. We hope it was helpful.